KYC today sucks. This is what IDOS is saying, why they're saying this, how they want to tackle this problem because they don't want to complain that the system sucks but build a better system. We're gonna take a look at how they want to do this what they do, how to get started with this. GM and welcome to a new video. Today we're talking about IDOS, as I just said. You could also pronounce it IDOS, which makes a lot of sense, but I'm just gonna go with IDOS here, like the iPad or the iPhone. As they say themselves, the portable identity for the stablecoin economy, reusable identity and user onboarding infrastructure for stablecoins. First of all, let's talk about what they are doing, then who's backing them and then how to get started. The easiest way to explain what they're doing, you could go through their site right now. We're gonna take a look at some examples from them later here as well. As always, all the links are down in the description. So if you wanna follow me along in this video, just go down there, check out the links and while you're down there, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you're not missing any of those kinds of videos because I'm gonna cover a lot of platforms and depths over the next couple of weeks that I'm trying out. This year is not a paid ad or anything. I just checked out IDOS and thought it would be nice to make a video out of it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna go to Wallchain because I haven't talked about IDOS in the past, so I completely missed their first wave of their InfoFi campaign. If you don't know what InfoFi or Wallchain is, make sure to check out this video here where I explain this in detail and get you started with that. But why am I opening Wallchain? One thing is that they have a leaderboard here, so you might get something from their token if you talk about it. But what I really like about Wallchain is that they have those explainers here on the side. If you go to a leaderboard and then to the right, I think it's not visible for you, but there's this yellow thing here on the right here. Then you click on it and it says Tweet Helper. And then they have some great explanations in short what a platform is. And I think this sums it up great. So this is why we're gonna go through this before we dive any deeper because it's explained very well. So what is IDOS or IDOS? It's decentralized storage and access management network bringing identity, portability for the stablecoin economy. Verify once, store your data in self-custody, share anywhere. The IDOS storage network is a layer one. It enables private and self-sovereign data storage and allows users to share access to their encrypted data with applications across 40 EVM and non-EVM ecosystems. The IDOS economy network on Arbitrum implements a flexible data economy in smart contracts across stablecoin applications like neobanks and their users. So the question is, okay, what makes IDOS a better identity system? You think KYC sucks? So do we. However, we also believe that if we want a change, we need to take action. This is what they're doing. Digital identity specifically for financial use cases is one of the hardest problems on the internet today. Privacy, security and self-custody of data must be ensured by design. However, from our experience building in decentralized identity since 2017, the one thing we learned is that identity cannot be fragmented across monolithic ecosystems. This is why we built IDOS as an open network backed by leading Web3 ecosystem and partners such as Arbitrum, Near, Ripple, Circle, Tezos, Starknet and several others. Ripple, XRP, Circle, USDC. So we see there's some major backers for this. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense because we've seen this over the last couple of months. I talked about this in my previous videos on OpenSea. We've seen the grand prizes of the NFTs that are worth several thousand dollars, some of them, and people needed to KYC because the platforms need to do this in order to not get any problems in terms of money laundering because they have to give this information to the regulators. We see more and more regulation. The lines are blurring between traditional finance, TradFi and the modern finance, which is blockchain based, which is crypto, which is stable coins. More and more we have uh, dApps where the users, for example, neobanks, you don't know what is on chain, what is off chain. We have on ramps, off ramps. So while all of this blurries, a lot of platforms, decentralized apps, neobanks, all of those, they need to do the KYC. 
and you need to do this for each of them and it sucks. I agree with them. So they are trying to build a solution and they are doing this in a decentralized way where you decide which data you provide and which you don't and to whom you provide it and to whom you don't. How do you do this? You create your IDOS profile in the IDOS app, go to app.idos.network to create your IDOS profile and start exploring IDOS. You will also find quests and our referral program to start earning points. I'll also provide you with my link. About the IDOS token, IDOS is the utility token, of course they have a token, securing the IDOS storage network by coordinating participation and distributing gas fees among key actors. When TGE planning for Q4 2025, more details coming soon. Still some time, probably after this wave, so Epoch 1 just ended and Epoch 2 is starting, which is 0.5% of the supply for people talking about IDOS on X. You can see all the major accounts and everything here. What's also always interesting is check out the Quackers guide where they give information on what they want people to talk about. They have some key points that make IDOS a better identity system. So it's always good to look through those kinds of infos. If you're talking about them, then this is your kind of source that you want to go with. One other thing I wanted to show you, the, the blog articles, if you go um, on, the, on the main website down to the bottom, let's scroll through all of this, then you see the blog articles here. And this one here is really interesting to read. It's a long read, but it's definitely worth it. I don't want to go through this in detail here, but it explains why they're doing this, how they're doing this really in detail. So if you want to learn and read more why they're doing this, how they're doing this, why they're doing this open source, how open source is always winning in the end and why identity must be open in a stablecoin economy. Otherwise, we're just building another backbone for what's there for decades now and this is not what we want to do so i like the idea i think the thing that you really need to think about is that they need a lot of users using this and for users to use this they need a lot of platform steps new banks actually using their infrastructure so it's worth for the users to actually do this because if there's only one or two apps that you use. Not sure if people actually sign up or do the KYC for IDOS or if it's easier to just do this with the app and then that's it. But if a lot of platforms, banks uh, use IDOS or IDOS, then it's worth it for the users to actually do the K KYC with them. I mean, I'm a big fan if you have the full control over which info goes to which platform out there. But let's be honest, most of the people don't really care. They just see I need to do this. So I will do the KYC. That's it. I don't care who the data has. If you want to get started, you hit launch app, connect an EVM wallet. In my case, it's the Rebby wallet. It's my favorite EVM wallet. And once you're in, you see it like this, and then you need to verify. Create your IDOS private key, sign to generate a unique key to encrypt your IDOS profile data. Verify you are a human, complete privacy preserving biometric proof of personal with IDOS face sign to finish creating your profile. And then you need to add a credential at the anonymized proof of personal credential to your IDOS profile. Nobody can see this data unless you give them access. This is how to do this. If you have any questions setting that up, let me know in the comments. Happy to guide you through this. They also have some quests and points. Feel free to do those. They also have the wall chain thing going on. And if you want to see how all of that looks, if you go to the, uh, to the homepage from them and click on try demo, then you end up here. And you can see this demo here from a example bank, connect an EVM wallet. Then let's hit the Rebby wallet again. Let's hit connect. And then you can create an 
IDOS profile with them. And you can go through this here as a demo, how all of that would look like with a Neobank as an example. Let me know what you think about IDOS. Is this a competitor, for example, to WorldCoin? Do you see this differently? Do you care about KYC? If so, is this a way that KYC would work for you because you have the control over the data? Or do you see any problems in still doing KYC with IDOS or would you trust them completely? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Once again, see you in the next video.